What's up, y'all? It has been a long time since I uploaded something. And today, I'm gonna be showing you what I bought throughout the whole month, which make me broke right now, and I really don't have money, and I don't know what to do. Well, anyway, since I already started it, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this typo. Uh, what do you call this? Typo tote bag, and it says, "So lazy, can move." And it's only five ringgit and fifty cents, so pretty cheap. Cause the other one, my old one, is actually pretty worn out, so that's why I got this new one. One thing I I got um these pairs of earrings. They're from I bought it from the Hinba Sunday Flea Market from this seller. Her name is Wow Hannah, and her earrings are really cheap. It's only RM seven for one pair. So, um, and she also sells, I think, like, hair clips, necklaces, and clip-on earrings as well, if you're interested. So, you can go check it out. It's in Georgetown. It's just, or maybe you can just Google, um, Hinbus Flea Market Sunday. I think it starts from, like, I I'm not sure if it's, like, 8 or 10 in the morning to, like, 5 p.m. So, yeah, check it out. Right, the next thing I want to talk about, um... The next few items are going to be um, clothing related items. So, this one, this is a bra from Uniqlo, and it is a multi function bra as it states. So, actually, what it can do is that you can turn it into like a strapless bra if you really want to. Like, you can, yeah, you can take these strappy things off. I guess it's like not new to the community but like somehow I feel like Uniqlo's bras give me the most stability out of everything I'm not sure tell me yours and I bought this for like 80 ringgit so yeah moving on I decided I want to change not change I just wanted to like try something new I guess and I went to Zalora and I bought this pretty cute jumpsuit from it's from Cotton On, and I think I bought it for like sixty five ringgit, and it's pretty cute. I mean, it's pretty comfy. It has the texture of a pajamas, so yeah, that's the main reason why I bought it because it's cute and comfortable. Now, moving on, I have two beauty related items that I want to show you today. It's a very weird thing. The first one is this. It's this Sephora um, exfoliator. It actually comes in powder form, to be honest. And it has salicylic acid and jojoba, jojoba beads. Yeah, and it's actually pretty weird. I use it for the first time, and it's like powder exfoliator. I've never heard of that in my life. So I'm like, mm. and the reviews online were like pretty good. So okay, I'll give it a try, I suppose. And Hmm, I must say, not bad. It um retails for sixty bucks and you can get it in all Sephora outlets uh worldwide, I suppose. Give it a try though. Cause like there's a lot of exfoliators out there which is just like um those normal exfoliators that you use which is like very coarse, textured like a sand. I don't really like that. And if it, and for me, it feels like it's doing nothing for my skin. So yeah. And the next thing I want to talk about is this. I saw it on Facebook back then. It was quite a hit. It's this Kiehl's um, white clay mask that is supposed to like clear your pores, minimize your pores. And this is only just the uh, sample pack. There's actually a much bigger bottle. And this one is actually. To be honest, for a Kiehl's product to be 36 ringgit and 70 cents, it's pretty cheap though. This is why, this is the main reason why I bought it in the first place. It's cheap. <laughs> and I heard that it's good, so I wanted to give it a try. And the results for me, I'm not sure. I've used it one time, but I will update you later if I ever, you know, 
find anything good out of this bottle. Yeah. I went to Sunray Pyramid today and I went into Cotton On. Apparently they're having a very not very apparently they're having sales. Like the whole store. And I just simply just tried on these very nice khakis. It's a black khaki. It's just normal black khakis and on the price tag it writes forty on the price tag it writes 45 ringgit and I was like mm, 45 ringgit for a pair of khakis not bad and I was checking out at the counter and apparently it's just 30 bucks where do you get 30 bucks? I mean 30 bucks for a long pants what a deal what a steal <laughs> I hate myself for saying that <laughs> alright oh and before I go I bought something for myself for my birthday Yay! For those who have heard me talk about it, you know what I bought. For those who don't, I'm kind of having mixed feelings about this purchase, to be honest. it For me, it was a big purchase for myself. And now I'm pretty broke. And in attempts to look good. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I bought myself a pair of red Dr. Martens, guys. I bought myself a pair of red Dr. Martens. Look at it, it's beautiful. I mean, I guess I wanted the lower cut ones, but I'm gonna try it on and it doesn't really feel like Dr. Martens, if you know what I'm saying, because Dr. Martens are famous for their boots and the chunkiness, I suppose. And like, yeah, I tried it, and I tried these on to be honest, they look so cool. Why do I want to do this to myself? Sacrificing comfort because it looks cool. I hate myself for doing that sometimes. But nonetheless, I bought it. I bought it. There's nothing I can do about it. And yeah, hopefully I'll get full use out of the shoes. Remind me to keep wearing those shoes. And yeah, these are the few things that I bought this month that I really want to share with you guys. I think five viewers. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so I will go and continue watching Netflix now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!